In this video, we'll take a look at Monte Carlo pricing um, and the technique was a valuation technique that uh, was developed by Phil and Boyle. Uh, prior to that, Monte Carlo had been used extensively in the world of physics and in mathematical sciences. And uh, Phil and Boyle took the Black Scholes Merton approach for pricing European options and developed uh, the Monte Carlo technique, which was a numerical technique for pricing the value of the European option. Now, in this instance, we're going to take some C++ code and compare the option valuations relative to the Black-Scholes model. Black-Scholes model is considered true, that the output from Black-Scholes is considered true um if the assumptions uh can be uh, vouched for so um we'll take um go into online compiler online gbd and then we'll paste we have to select which uh language we want to use the least the code that's there serves no purpose. Uh, paste. And the code originally comes from uh, Fabrice uh, Rua. I made some small changes on that code. Uh, the link to those video clips you can find uh, here. And for some additional explanation, uh, this uh, link also uh, may be useful. So we're going to run this, It'll take a little while not too long, uh, but what we might note is that there will be an output for a Black-Scholes model, and there will be output then from Monte Carlo. And this Monte Carlo technique uh, uses Box-Muller transformation. Okay, now when we examine the output, we can observe that the Black-Scholes model uh, for those parameter values of uh, 100 for the stock price, 100 for the exercise, one year maturity, 5% interest rate, dividend of zero, volatility of 20%, went uh, 10 million uh, steps in the estimation. When we estimate the value of the Monte Carlo simulation for the call, we get 1045. For the put, we get 557. And that's quite close to the close form solution. If we reduce that to, so this would be 10 million. If we put in two here, that would be, uh, it's the 100, so let's go E2. Uh, two, and let's run. We'll notice that the error will increase here by a fairly significant uh, margin. And that's because uh, we're running with a smaller number of pathways, right? In this instance, the simulation is not at all close to the closed form solution. But if we increase the number of uh, steps in the direct pathways, we change that back to seven and run again, uh, we'll get closer. Now, each time we make an estimation using Monte Carlo, unless we set a seed, then because the valuation is done with random numbers, the simulation will produce different output. So when we compare again, this time the simulation, Monte Carlo simulation is given 1044 for the value of the call, 557 for the value of the put. It's close again to uh, Black Scholes valuation but not completely the same. Okay, in the next video, we'll have a look at how to set the same estimation up in Xcode.